What's up, everybody? It's JT Sports Max, you guys, with another video. Before I begin, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our NFL videos and NFL content daily. And also make sure to hit the bell icon so you get notified every time that I upload. Now, starting a new video series, I'm going to be going over all the impact players for all 32 NFL teams. And the team that I'm starting with today is the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, the LA Chargers have a lot of good players on their team, which made this video very hard to make. And also, I had to put in more players than I wanted to. But, I mean, they have a top five roster. I mean, they have depth. They have good quality players. Duran James was an all-pro. Phillip Rivers is still a great quarterback. And also, I felt that last year, head coach Anthony Lynn should have been a candidate for NFL head coach of the year because him and his staff made great halftime adjustments. Kansas City... The Pittsburgh Steelers, those two games were a good example of that. They had very good second halves, and they ended up winning those games. So let's get into it, the impact players that I have for the L.A. Chargers. The first one is Phillip Rivers. Now, we know Phillip Rivers. He's been the quarterback for the L.A. Chargers for a pretty long time. And he's still a top 10 quarterback, still producing at a high level. Last season, he passed for 4,308 yards, had 32 passing touchdowns, only 12 interceptions, and he completed 68.3% of his passes. Like I said, still a top 10 quarterback, still performing at a top level, high quality level. And this year, he's going to have a pretty solid season, and I think he's probably going to put up similar numbers. Probably going to have about the same amount of touchdowns, probably around that 30 touchdown range. He'll probably be around 10 interceptions, and he'll probably complete about the same percent of the passes he completed this year. And he's going to have a big season for the L.A. Chargers. And, I mean, you have to put him on this list because he is a key part of the L.A. Chargers success, and he's going to be a big part of the L.A. Chargers success going forward in the 2019 NFL season. The next player that we have up on the list is halfback. Melvin Gordon. Now, even though Melvin Gordon missed four games last season, he still had he still had a Pro Bowl season. He was a couple. He was 200 yards short of 1,000 yards. If he probably would have played in those four games, he probably would have hit that. But he had 885 rushing yards, averaged 5.1 yards per carry, had 10 rushing touchdowns. He also was pretty good through the air, 490 receiving yards, 50 receptions, and four receiving touchdowns. Melvin Gordon is going to be another big part of this L.A. Chargers offense in 2019, and I think he's going to put up very good stats, probably going to be over 1,000 yards. I don't know if he'll be able to replicate that the same amount of rushing touchdowns he had last season this season. I think he'll probably come close. I'll say he'll probably have about eight or nine. And he was very, very good last year through the air. And he's really improving more as a receiving back. When he first came into the league, I don't really think he was that good or that polished as being able to really catch passes out of the backfield. But ever since then, he has improved every season to me. And he's going to have a big season. And he's going to be a big part of this offense going forward. The next player that we have up on this list, right guard Forrest Lamp. Now, Forrest Lamp didn't play last year. Um, he was recovering from a cleanup proce procedure that he had when he had surgery on his knee back in the 2017 season. So he was having cleanup surgery for that. He was also the second round pick in the 2017 NFL draft. He didn't play in the 2017 season because he's tore it, his ACL in training camp. And he also sat out most of the 2018 NFL season. Now, I'm expecting Lamp to produce at a high level this year, now fully recover from his injury, and I'm pretty sure he should be able to beat out right guard Michael Schofield, who was the starting right guard for the Chargers last season, and Lamp should prove to be a huge upgrade from him, and he also should improve the pass blocking and the run blocking for the LA Chargers, which was already pretty good last year, so now it's going to be even better with Forrest Lamp in the starting lineup. Also have another offensive lineman on this list, center Mike Pouncey. Now, Mike Pouncey is coming off of his first Pro Bowl season since 2015. He started all 16 games for the Chargers last season, was a big part of the Chargers' success up front. And he should have another productive 2019 season for the Chargers. And I expect him to make the Pro Bowl again. He is just like the captain of that offensive line. And I think he's a big part of that offensive line. Having a good center goes a long way in the NFL for some reason. It's just 
having a good center makes the offensive line a lot better. I guess the center is more of the quarterback for the offensive line, you know. And Mike Pouncey is probably one of the best centers in the NFL, if not the best, one of the best. And I expect him to have a big season this year and make the Pro Bowl again. So next up, we have wide receiver Keenan Allen. Now, Keenan Allen is obviously Phillip Rivers' number one wide receiver. He's coming off of a Pro Bowl season last year when he caught 97 passes for 1,196 receiving yards. He also had six touchdowns. Keenan Allen, guys, I think Keenan Allen, if he puts together another solid season like he has the past two seasons, he's going to end up getting his name brought up in top five wide receiver discussion. Now, I don't think he's a top five wide receiver yet, but he's creeping up to that status. Keenan Allen is becoming very, very elite. And if he has another season like how he had last year, I'm going to put him in that discussion for one of the top five wide receivers in all of football. So next up, we have another wide receiver on this list. We have Mike Williams. Now, Mike Williams had a little bit of a breakout. Well, I wouldn't call it a breakout season. Well, I guess we could go ahead and call it a breakout year. Now, Mike Williams didn't really have a great rookie season like everybody expected. But this season, he really, really improved a lot. He had 664 receiving yards, 43 receptions, and 10 receiving touchdowns, and also had a rushing touchdown off of a jet sweep. Now, the thing about Mike Williams is that Phillip Rivers targeted him 66 times, and he caught 43 of those targets. That's very, very good. And also, Mike Williams... He's going to have to be a big part of this L.A. Chargers offense this year because now Tyrell Williams, who was their number two wide receiver last year, signed with the Oakland Raiders in free agency. So now Mike Williams is now the official number two wide receiver for the L.A. Chargers. And at times, I feel Mike Williams had flashes when he was better for a, a couple of games. Mike Williams was better than Tyrell Williams. Mike Williams is just a very, very big physical wide receiver. He's also pretty fast, has pretty solid speed, and I think he's going to have a big season, a breakout season, actually. I think he's going to have over 1,000 yards, probably going to catch about 70 passes this year, and probably going to have about seven to eight touchdowns. He's going to be a big part of this L.A. Chargers offense. Next up, I have the last offensive player for the L.A. Chargers. I have tight end Hunter Henry. Now, Hunter Henry missed the whole 2018 regular season for the L.A. Chargers with an ACL injury, but he did appear in the divisional round game against the New England Patriots when they got when they lost. He took 14 snaps against them, and Hunter Henry has great size and speed, and he, if he's able to get re-implemented into the L.A. Chargers offense like how he was, a year before last season, he's going to be pretty good. I think he's going to. I think he's going to have a pretty good season. Um, I think he's probably going to have around 800 receiving yards, probably catch about six touchdowns, and I think Phillip Rivers is probably going to target him a lot more in the red zone because he is a very good red zone target. He's big. He's fast. He's a mismatch for linebackers because most of the time he's too fast to cover for them, and then he's too big for safeties, obviously. So he's a big red zone, red zone weapon. And without a doubt, he's going to be a big part of the L.A. Chargers offense in 2019. Now on the defensive side of the ball, we already know I had to put him on this list. Defensive end, Joey Bosa. Now, Joey Bosa missed a lot of games last season. He only played in seven due to a foot injury, but he was solid when he came back. He had 23 tackles, seven tackles for loss, and five and a half sacks. Without a doubt, those numbers are going to be multiplied by two. He's probably going to have 10 sacks or more. He's probably going to have at least about 15 tackles for loss. Joey Bosa is going to have a very good season. I think he's going to end up being a pro bowler, and... He's going to be very, very good, and he's obviously a key part of that L.A. Chargers defensive line. And also, we also have another defensive lineman for the L.A. Chargers. We have defensive end Melvin Ingram. Now, Melvin Ingram is starting to become a very, very solid defensive end. 
I think at this point you can't consider him elite defense. And at this point, I mean, he made two Pro Bowls. I believe he he went to the Pro Bowl in 2017 as well. He went to the Pro Bowl last season in 2018. He had 43 tackles, eight tackles for loss, eight sacks, a forced fumble, two fumble recoveries, and an interception. He is without a doubt now a elite defensive end. And him and Joey Bosa are going to be wrecking havoc. And then they also drafted defensive tackle out of Notre Dame, Jerry Tillery. So that defensive line is very, very scary. And that front seven for the L.A. Chargers is probably one of uh, – I would consider them around – I think they have a pretty good front seven. I don't know if I can consider them top five, but I definitely know that they have a top ten front seven. Very, very good front seven that the L.A. Chargers have. And lastly, we have safety Duran James. Now, Duran James probably had one of the best rookie years that you probably will ever see from a defensive back. I mean, this guy was a pro bowler. He was also an all-pro he had 105 tackles, three and a half sacks, four tackles for loss, 13 pass deflections, three interceptions. This guy was just all over the field last year for the L.A. Chargers. And I expect him to replicate those same numbers this year because this guy is very, very good. And a lot of teams are going to regret passing on him, if not already regretting passing on him from last year's draft. This guy is going to be, in my opinion, the heart and soul of that L.A. Chargers secondary, if not already the heart and soul of the L.A. Chargers secondary. And plus, you pair him up with Adderley, the dude who they selected in the second round of this past year's NFL draft. That secondary is going to be locked down without a doubt. And him and Nazir Adderley are going to be a pretty good safety tandem in the NFL this coming season. So let me know what you guys think about this list down in the comment section down below. Make sure to like the video and subscribe for more NFL content. And thanks for watching.